You have reached the Department of Social Security Administration. How can I help you today? Hello, I heard there's something wrong with my Social Security. Can you help me? Yes, I can help you. My name is Officer Sean Matthews, who I'm speaking with. My name is Robert Grinnell. That's spelled R as in Romeo, E O as in What's Oscar. your last name? Hold on, hold on. What's your last name? It's Grinnell, spelled G as in golf, R as in Romeo, I as in India, N as in November, N as in November, E as in Echo, L as in Lima, L as in Lima. Okay, it's a Grinnell, right? That's right, uh huh. Alright, and what's your mailing address, Mr. Robert? It's 1187 Campbell Avenue. That's spelled. Which C Avenue? Campbell <laughs> Avenue. That's spelled C as in Charlie, A as in L. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. You, need, you don't need to uh, get me that C as in Charles, A as in Apple. Go slowly. So C A M P C B U E B L L L. That's right. Uh huh. Yes. And after that, West Haven. That's right. Uh huh. And after that, West Haven, Connecticut. The zip code is zero six. Five one six. What is the zip code? Zero six five one six. Okay. And what do you tell me the your first name? My first name is Robert. Yeah, Robert. And what is the last name? It's Grinnell. Okay. Okay, so just verify me your last four numbers of your social so I can pull out your record it's, and I will let you know what was the call uh, call given to you. So it was one nine two two. One nine two two and what's the whole number of your social? It's zero two seven two four uh -huh. one nine uh -huh. two two. Okay, okay, so Mr. Robert. The purpose of this call is just to inform you that did you receive any call from your local sheriff department about your suspension of your social? No. All right. All right. So uh, are you delay? Uh, okay. So the thing is that someone is trying to use your personal information for identity and had committed many fraudulent activity in the state of Texas. Like we have found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas and the make and made model of the vehicle was Toyota Corolla with the license plate number is TX982071. So in that car we found some blood and drugs received inside it. Hence after the investigation we found that car was rented under your name and under your social security number. So there are two addresses linked with the title of the vehicle. When we investigate we came to know that one address was fake and another address was 6200 North 100 Avenue Apartment B. Post in Texas 72008. So have you ever visited on this address before, Mr. Robert? No, I have never been to Texas. Alright, no problem. So when, when this address was the read by the U.S. Marshal and team, but unfortunately there was no one inside the residence. But the U.S. Marshal recovered 20 pounds of cocaine, which is an abuse drugs and some documentation from Financial Institute such as Stage Bank, Bank of America, U.S. Bank, TD Bank, etc. And all this paperwork has your name on it. And right now, your name is under federal investigation in the state of Texas, with two criminal charges placed against your name, which is drug trafficking and money laundering. Because after investigating these documents, which we have found in the residence, we have recorded that almost 200,000 of dollars had been wired locally and internationally, which seems totally suspicious to us. And right now, your name is under federal investigation in the state of Texas with two criminal charges, which is money laundering and drug trafficking. So, Mr. Robert, let me do one thing. Let me send you all the documents regarding this case right here at your mailing address, which I got with me. It's 1187 Campbell Avenue, West Haven, Connecticut 06516, right? Oh, yes, uh-huh. All right, so 
Are you are you the owner of five fifteen different bank accounts under your name, Mr. Robert? No, I have only one bank account. Okay, what's the bank name of yours under your name? It's Milford Bank. Okay, and what, do you have a checking account or saving account in that bank? I have or both of them. I have both. All right. So, what's the exact value of your checking account in Melfred Bank? The checking account is uh, worth four thousand seven hundred thirty-six dollars and ten cents. Okay. And what about your saving? What's my, the actual balance? Uh, my savings account is. Uh, worth seventy three thousand seven hundred eighty four dollars and seventeen cents okay seventy thousand seventy eight seven for eighty four thousand right seventy three thousand seven hundred eighty four dollars and seventeen cents okay Okay, so Mr. Robert, let me tell you, you on the recorded line, and this line has been recorded and monitored by three agencies. First one is to the Division of Social Security Administration, second one is to the Drug Enforcement Agency, and third one is to the Courthouse. So that we are talking to each other, this recording will play to the Courthouse to safeguard you, alright? Okay. And, and uh, you have to be so loyal and fair in this recording line. Let me tell you clearly on this recording line. Do you copy that? Okay, uh-huh. Yes. So, Mr. Robert, have you ever lost your cell phone in the past? Uh, no. Alright, so did you share your personal detail to somebody? No. Somebody. You have to be very fair and loyal, Mr. Robert. No, not that I know of. Alright, so have you ever visited a uh, this different state recently? Not recently. They've kept me locked up because I had COVID. Okay, so you have a COVID? That's right, uh-huh. Okay, so for how many days you there in the jail? Well, I was, I was kept in quarantine for two weeks. Now I'm finally allowed to move around. All right, all right, no problem. So, are you uh, are you the identity of fraud before? Have I been? I did not quite catch. Okay, so are you the? Uh, okay, so we got that information that you are an addicted of drug. Are you the addicted of drug? No, I had the I had the disease COVID, but now I'm allowed to move freely again. Okay, so have you ever shown to the physician doctor about your COVID? That's how I ended up uh, in quarantine. I should have kept my mouth shut. All right, so why? And now, do you have a COVID or just to uh, release it? No, I don't have COVID anymore. All right, so that means you were suffering from the COVID, right? I'm, from last two weeks. That's right, uh-huh. All right, so back to the point of Mr. Robert. Uh, let me tell you, so do you own a credit card under your name? Yes. All right, so do you own a debit card under your name? No, just a MasterCard. All right. All right, so do you own a house under your name? No, I live in senior housing. All right. Okay, and uh, do you do you have a car under your name? Yes. Okay, so what is the model of your car? It's a 1957 Chevy Bel Air. 19? 1957. 1957, and what is the model? It's a Chevy Bel Air. Chevy Bel Air. Yes. Okay. Okay, so do you have a cell phone? Uh, yes. Or like Android phone, iPhone? 
I have an I have an Obama phone that dials phone numbers and sends text messages. A social worker gave it to me and said it was an Obama phone. An Obama phone. That's right. All right, all right. So, uh, Mister, the car model is nineteen fifty. Seven Chevy Bell, right? That's right. All right. All right. So, Mr. Robert, uh, do you have a four hundred one k plan? No, I retired in nineteen ninety nine, and then I moved to senior housing. I withdrew all my money so I could enjoy my autumn years. All right. And uh, so, uh, are you living separately, or do you own a family with you? No, I live alone in my senior housing apartment. All right. So, okay. So, just let me know the further detail of your family, so we can reach to them. Because we don't know the who is the real culprit doing this kind of suspicious activity under name. So we have to contact everybody related of your investigation, so we can take your all the family to the investigation so give me the address of your wife who is, who is your wife she died years ago all right and Anna, what about your children i don't know where they are you don't know where they are so you're not talking to them well they're not talking to me all right so mr robert let me tell you clearly on this recording line you have to be so loyal to fair do you understand? That's right. Uh huh. All right. So, okay. So, Mr. Robert, what I will do, I will just transfer this call to my senior officer. He will let you know the further information about your case. Do you understand? I understand. Uh huh. Yes. So, Mr. Robert, okay. I'm I'm just going to transfer this call to my senior officer. All right. Okay. So you have to be yes. And I'm I'm going to tell you again and again. You have to be too loyal, so fair on this recording line. So hold on a second. All right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for holding the line. Now this line has been connected to senior officer. My name is Officer Peter Watson. Hello. I heard there's something wrong with my social security. Uh, yeah, so I believe my officer explained to you each and everything about the situation, right? What is going on with your socials and everything? Something about drugs in Texas, and I don't condone marijuana. I think everyone who smokes marijuana should go to jail for 20 years and be forced to make license plates. Okay, so where are you right now? At your home place? Yeah, I'm in my senior housing apartment. Okay, here you gave an information to my officer that you have an Milfred bank account. And from how long you're using this bank account? I've had it ever since uh, the Vietnam War. Okay, so in your checking account, what amount do you have? I have 4000 Seven hundred thirty-six dollars and ten cents. Okay, in your savings account. I have seventy-three thousand seven hundred eighty-four dollars and seventeen cents. Okay, no problem. Now, first thing, what we have to do is we have to go ahead and safeguard the funds, whatever you got. Okay. So where are you right now at your home place, right? So do you know any nearby government affiliated store where you can safeguard your funds? Or do you want me to tell you? I believe you have a car, right? Car for yourself. That's right. Uh-huh. Your current zip code is 06516. Is that correct? That's right. Uh-huh. All right. Hold on. Let me go ahead and find the nearest location where you can go ahead and safeguard your funds. Okay. Okay. So I just want you to get ready and sit in your car so I can give you the location where you have to go, okay? Okay. Once you sit in your car, let me know I'm holding the line. 
Okay, I have to go get my Velcro shoes and go get my walker to get to the car. Okay, no problem. Take your time. This is your cell phone, right? That's right. Uh-huh. It's my Obama phone that my social worker gave to me. Okay, no problem. So I'm holding the line. Once you sit in your car, let me know, okay? Hello? Hello? Hello. 